let us start with today's session where we will be discussing mcqs and question and answers from the chapter our skeletal system this is chapter number 9 from living science textbook so let us start with tick the correct answers what is the first question the working of the internal organs of our body is controlled by this system the options are reproductive circulatory respiratory nervous so what is the correct option the working of the internal organs of our body is controlled by nervous system so option number d is correct second question this joint allows the maximum movement ball and socket joint pivot joint hinge joint or gliding joint which is the correct option right ball and socket joint okay because this allows the maximum movement this particular joint third question the muscles are attached to the bones with fibers called dash options are ligaments tendons bone marrow ribs so muscles are attached to the bones with the fiber called tendons t e n d o n s okay this is option number b tendons is the correct answer let us see fourth question these muscles are under our control what are the options muscles attached to the alimentary canal muscles attached to our skeleton cardiac muscles none of this which is a correct option muscles attached to our skeletal system okay because they are under our control that's why b option is correct let us see fill in the blanks now so first in that is human skeleton encloses and protects all the organs of the body so what is answer of this fill in the blanks the human skeleton encloses and protects all the internal organs of the body okay so internal is a correct answer second question the vertebral column protects the delicate dash cord what is answer spinal cord the vertebral column protects the delicate spinal cord third question the muscles which are not under our control are called involuntary muscle okay involuntary is a correct answer for third fill in the blank then fourth the dash are the strong tissues which hold the bones together ligaments the answer is ligaments the powerful dash bone bears the weight of the whole body what is answer the powerful thigh bone bears the Uh, weight of the whole body then match the columns we will see match the columns vertebral column knee rib cage skull is in column a in column b we have heart and lung spinal cord brain and hip joint now vertebral column if you see it matches with the spinal cord then knee should match with the hip joint then rib cage uh, should match with heart and lungs and skull should match with brain okay so let us see if our answers are correct right vertebral column spinal cord knee hinge joint rib cage heart and lungs skull brain so our guesses were correct okay now let us see short answers what is joint the answer to this question is a joint is a junction where two or more bones are held together by a strong tissue called ligaments then second question name different kind of movable joints in our body so what is answer to this question the answer is hinge joint ball and socket joint pivot joint and gliding joint these are the different kind of movable joints let us see next question which part of the facial region is movable how does it help us here you will write the lower jaw is movable it enables us to eat and talk then uh, what is bone marrow here you will write a soft fatty substance filled in a hollow part of the long bone is called bone marrow okay then what are tendons here you will write the tough bands with which muscles are attached to the bones are called tendons okay because these are the uh, these are the tissues uh, where muscles are joined to the bones so muscles are attached to the bones with the help of this particular tissues called as tendons okay these are tough bands now let us see some long answers the first question how is our skeleton useful to us here you will write we will start by saying the bones of the skeleton give shape strength and support to our body 
then you will write they protect various internal organs of the body like brain eyeballs spinal cord lungs hearts urinary bladder etc then you will write muscles are attached to the bones and make movement possible and then you will write white blood cells and red blood cells are produced by bone marrow in hollow bones so there are so many uses that uh, we can find in skeleton the next question what is the difference between voluntary and involuntary muscle here you will start by writing voluntary muscles you will write this type of muscles can be willfully controlled whereas involuntary muscle this type of muscle cannot be willfully controlled then involuntary muscles you will write these are found in arms legs eyes tongues etc and here you will write they are found in elementary canal eye muscles etc okay so these are the basic differences between voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles third question how do muscles work here you will write muscles produce movement in the body by pulling on bones when a muscle contracts the bone come close to each other when the knee bends one muscle contracts and gets shorter whereas the other one relaxes and when the leg stretches the reverse happens okay so this is how muscles work so muscles produce movement in body by pulling on the bones when muscle contract the bone come close together when the knee bends for example one muscles contract and uh, get shorter whereas the other one relaxes okay so when the leg stretches the reverse happens okay so this you have to remember when muscle contracts most of the time bones come together okay uh, in knee bands when muscle contracts and get shorter okay uh, when knee bends okay uh, whereas when uh, we stretch it okay um, the reverse happens okay one relaxes and other gets uh, contracted okay so it's vice versa fourth question how can we keep our muscles in a good shape to keep our muscles in good shape we must maintain a good posture uh, while we sit stand or walk then regular exercise also keep our muscles in a good shape okay so that was all from my side students I hope this will be helpful to you uh, in your studies, in your tests, in your exams. So do write this question and answers in your notebook and learn by heart so that it will be beneficial for you and you can get good marks out of it. Okay. So see you during next session with the new topic. Until then, take care. Bye bye.